If you're looking to toast the start of the Summer Olympics in Rio this weekend, you can't go wrong by reaching for a bottle of cachaça. Brazil's national spirit has a rich history going back to the 16th century. And here to tell us more is WSJ's Charles Passy with the weekend sip. Hi, Charles. Hey. Great Pleasure to as see always. you. Very difficult for Americans to pronounce. Am I pronouncing it correctly? I think cachaça. Cachaça. Right. Thank you so okay. much. So this is, this is a national drink in Brazil rich history in this country. Is it catching on here in the U.S.? A little bit. I mean, what's happened in this country is most people know this from the caipirinha, yes. which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly, <laughs> uh, which is a drink made with cachaça, lime, and sugar. Um, and you see it in Brazilian restaurants, and now you're sort of starting to see it crop up elsewhere. But because of that, there's sort of this little bit of awareness that's spreading beyond just the cocktail as to what is this exactly. Now, you say that it's often confused with rum. Right. How is it different? I mean, some people call it Brazilian rum. Right. Um, um, rum is made from molasses, which is a byproduct of the sugar making process. This is kind of sui generis. This is made from sugar cane or sugar cane juice. So right. this is kind of the heart of, 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 you can say it's like sort of the purest rum in a certain way. And tell us about the brand that you brought with you, because this one is growing quite rapidly, Yes, correct? yes, yes. At 50% annualized growth since it started in 2010. This is kind of, I would call it, a boutique cachaça. Mm -hmm. um, it has a few different attributes to it. One of it's all organic. Uh, secondly, they have a lot of different versions of it. A lot of people have just seen a kind of a clear silver cachaça. They, they offer a lot of versions that are aged in barrels. And so that they, they really have, a, they're really kind of spreading the idea that, that you can have this kind of higher version of a so cachaça. So does that make the taste very wild, widely, depending on how they prepare yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, each, each, each version they have is yeah. different. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and and, and so, yeah, they're, 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 and there's a lot of flavor that comes from the wood in the barrel. And so is this so high end that it's meant to be drunk neat or on the rocks? Well, you know, the thing is, and we are going to drink it neat, um, <laughs> right, so is, we'll is, decide. That, is that <laughs> many people have never, if they've had cachaça, they have never had it neat. And this, like a good sipping rum, can be enjoyed that way. And I think with, with this particular company, they're making a version that can be done. Now. Could All you right. put this in a caipirinha? Absolutely. I was too lazy to get limes. So let's give it a shot. I, I understand that Saudi is how you say cheers. I, in you know more than I do. On this I one. don't All know. Right. I don't know. Okay, let's give okay. it a try. Smell it. Mmm. Mm. Mm, that's nice. It's a high sugar content, you can yeah, tell, yeah. right? And, and you, what you're getting there, to me, is the yes. flavor of the cane. You yes. really get this earthy flavor. It's like sugar and earth together. Uh, um, I, I think it's a beautiful sip. I could definitely take this on the beach, right. for sure. There you Charles go. There you go. Happy Thank Olympics. You so much. Yes, uh, Happy Olympics.